Have you ever wondered what it's like to spend the holidays in the Philippines? Touchdown, Christmas Day. The streets are empty, and the first thing we get is Pandasil, light and sweet. Visits to the family on Christmas Day are essential. It's time for family to reconnect. <laughs> Santa suits are a rare thing around here, so it was a treat for all family members. You can't have Christmas without the presents, especially from the Bailik Bayan boxes. It's also tradition to give money, especially uh, throwing it around. <laughs> After spending time with the family, no trip to the Philippines is complete without a visit to the Mega Mall. Well, several Mega Malls actually. The malls are filled with Christmas decorations. There is also the stunning festival of lights in the Ayala Triangle Garden. We also spent some time in the Pinto Art Museum in Antipolo. Tigaytay is also an amazing place to visit with its stunning views. A unique experience to try in Tigaytay is the Kawa hot bath with a picturesque mountain backdrop as you relax in aromatic waters. You blink and it goes from Christmas to New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is special in the Philippines as the family has a midnight feast called Media Noche. Fireworks can also be heard all around the neighborhood. Just take a look at the sky as everyone gathers in the street. When the fireworks settle, the family gathers the next day to celebrate. The day is filled with lots of love, laughter, antics, and dancing. 
We got the lechon on deck, a suckling pig that is cooked whole. Watch as the family prepares for Kamayan, a communal feast where food is served on banana leaves and eaten with your hands. It's great seeing all the family on New Year's Day as siblings connect after so long. We also celebrate a birthday, do a gift exchange where everyone brings in a gift and is given random numbers. And we also throw some more money around. And just like that, the celebration winds down as we bring in the new year. The most critical thing missing from all of this is the food. Food is at the heart of this trip. I ate so much junk. From fries from Potato Corner to the dim sum experience we had at a casino with its rice rolls and best desserts to some surprisingly good pizza, good coffee, and seasick tofu. You could always catch me getting a sip of Royale, getting brain freeze from Hollow Hollow, or getting my sugar up from a fresh mango smoothie. Our favorite dining experience has to be at Din Tai Fung with its world famous Sha Long Bao. There's chocolate lava in every bite of this dumpling. Look at that chocolate. If you didn't know, the most famous food chain is Jollibee. From breakfast to lunch, we always found comfort in the bee. We even had a surprise engagement party there. Come take a look. I never really expected to have a party at Jollibee. From the custom banner, to all the games and food, it was such a pleasant surprise to celebrate my engagement alongside my new family. It really meant a lot, so shout out to my future mother-in-law. We end the engagement party with cake cutting in a nearby park. As we chase the kids around, and play some bingo in the dark. And that's how we spent the holidays in the Philippines. All these moments add up to make the trip such a memorable thing. It's hard to say goodbye, but hope to see you again soon. Till next time.